That's a bit odd. But... Wait, 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 wait. What number are we at right now? Five. Wow, I'm impressed the second boy made it high up the list. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's face it, there is also generational things. Like, obviously, certain characters and such go up or down depending on how influential it was to them. I mean, its ex explanation is like why Master Chief is so high, high up, essentially, and not down is because obviously it's no longer, you know, the halo years of. Like, yeah, yeah. But, but Sackboy? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll give. Okay, well, number four makes sense Sonic. Uh huh. Okay. Here's where it starts curving hard. Number three, Agent 47. Oh, yeah, that is a curve, yeah. Right. It, it, it looks like it makes more sense than Sackboy, if you ask me, but still, yeah, it's a curve. It, it, at number three? Right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Now, here's where it gets weird. Number two, Mario. Okay, come. why is that weird? Because he's number two. Now, this would make sense in most video game lists of iconic characters, is that a character that is designed to be iconic okay. is this high up here. Before you say number one, I think the reason Mario would be number two is that Mario feels like the one that everybody loves, but it, like, it feels uncool to say he's number one, even though like clearly everybody loves Mario. But like, well, it, feels He is iconic. He, he has been through every single gaming generation, and usually the games he's a part of have been classics. Right. It's just like to say, like your favorite is Mario. Is this like, oh, like, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, sort of thing of like, uh, that's generic, it's basic. Yeah, it's very, yeah. <laughs> but it's understandable that why he would be in like in the top three spots. But uh, do you want to cast a vote for who is number one? Uh, um, Half Life guy, Gordon Freeman. Yeah, he is in the anomalous list. Um, okay, is it random? Uh, it's not random. It, okay. It, it, they are a person, uh, a video game character that has had, had multiple generations of games. Okay, so, all right. Um, I'm sure you got any guesses? Dracula! No, that's an interesting choice, because technically... I'm pretty sure Dracula has been in more than just Castlevania. But I was thinking of Castlevania when I thought of him, but what, what, yes. what about, what about Pac-Man? We, we already said Pac-Man. Pac Six. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, okay. sorry. Yeah. Um, um, multiple generations. Um, can we exclude Mario characters? Since you already mentioned Mario. Okay. Um, I let's just say this. I will give it up to this character that they are iconic, but I don't think they are this iconic. Um, oh, okay. okay. Let's put it together. Um, you already said a Pokemon, so it can't be that. Um. Also, are you waiting for me to start the game? No, well, I can't even get. To, oh no, no, no! Because I'm still in podcast mode. I'm, okay. I feel like I like this combo. Ah, I don't know why I'm having trouble even putting together a guess. Um, fall, that can be Fallout Boy. Um, Hit Boy is not on the list. Um. Uh, Though I would think he would be higher, actually. Hmm. I mean, I'm surprised that Crash Bandicoot got in, in at all when you think about it. Right. Because right. um, he hasn't had a proper video game in like what? Is it a Final Fantasy character? No. Um, is it a Disney character? No. Okay. Uh, no, okay. I think I'm out. Let's not delay the inevitable. Okay. Lara Croft. Come on, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> now, I would agree that Lara Croft is iconic, has had multiple iterations, has right. always had a certain level of, you know, n notoriety. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I don't think her being on the list is wrong, but I do wonder why she is number one. I mean, in, in a list that had Sackboy number five. Yeah, that's what half the reason why I was thinking that this list is a captive audience. That may not necessarily be the biggest of gamers, because there's also the fact that, like, you would think that Shepard would be on here, or somebody would put down Femshep. I mean, Pac-Man's really high in, like... Yeah, and Pac-Man hasn't had a proper video game in, like, ten years. I think the last Although, big... Uh, uh, was you, you say, 99, wasn't it? Yeah, but, but even then, like, I know the kids in my nephew's generation are still into Pac-Man. Like that's, that's I'm not missing him. It's just I, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of certain characters and such that are iconic. Like let's let's face it. Pikachu, Mario, Sonic were designed to be iconic. Right. Mm -hmm. Even Kratos, Master Chief, um uh, Arthur Morgan, even though yeah. you could say generic cowboy man. Generic cowboy. Generic cowboy man. <laughs> Generic cowboy man. Yeah. So okay, I, horse, not I'm not. Cold. So is it as interesting as the list is? I I don't know if it says anything. Uh, it sort of says a lot in the sense of like there's a lot of normy answers. I feel like there's also the fact of I feel like you can also get a guessing range of their age, because. Obviously, a fair amount of these things are probably a lot more iconic for people our age than, I would say, Zoomers. The only thing that list tells me is that Sackboy has a, a, a more street cred than I gave, gave him credit for, and that's the only thing I've gained from, from this <laughs> list. Actually, the biggest problem is I don't recognize where Sackboy has come from. Is he from... Little Big Planet. Yep. Oh. Okay. I mean... I mean, I think that makes sense, but it's like again, I don't. I only know of one person IRL that ha that is has raved about Sackboy. Fan, fan about Sackboy? Yeah. yeah, and and, and bless her, she she's good people. Okay. But she's the only one that I have known that's ever like. I don't think have, there's like, anything wrong with Sackboy. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But she's the only person I've I've known to have emoted about Sackboy. Uh, admittedly, again with Shadowheart, I. Find it very strange that character that was literally only known like less than a year ago is considered iconic. Yeah, she so, she was... she has made an impact on people's hearts and other places. Yes, I know, but that's like <laughs> does that sort of says it's like also a recency bias. Right, so. right, which which is going to happen like in any yeah. kind of poll like this. So well, yeah, but I, I well I would think when people hear the word iconic, they think of characters that have remained in people's minds long after they, they've stopped playing video games, stopped thinking about video games. That they could recognize as a video game character, you know, anywhere on the street because, like, they're so iconic. Now, admittedly, maybe Shadowheart is this. Like, I don't know which among the characters that are on the party that I have ever seen on any Baldur's Gate 3 screenshot she is. Hi. I know. If you ask me, it's too early to tell. But so, I can see, I can see like three of those characters having like lasting impact. But it's too early to tell. Well, yeah. Well, it, like, let's be honest. Uh, I would think that it would be just as odd as if I saw Minsk here, or arguably, I would think that uh, seeing um, uh, Sweet Tooth. No, Sweet Tooth. God. Uh, twisted metal. Recency bias because they did have the twisted yeah. metal uh, TV show. Twisted, really, yeah, which I've heard strangely good reviews of. That's always weird. Right. Yeah, it's that it wasn't unentertaining, but I haven't seen it yet. Well, it's like the ad campaign did the worst job of like putting all the unfunny jokes in it, right. which is strange. <laughs> or like the most cringeworthy jokes. You know what? And to be honest. I almost don't blame because what at random ad agency is going to understand Twisted Metal? Which one is going? Well, first of all, which jokes are going to be willing to air on national te television? Yeah, or something like that, <laughs> yeah, without yeah. issue. Exactly. 
Like, so I, I almost get how an ad campaign, a, any ad campaign, people are going to go like, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> how am I supposed to promote this? All I can do is is promote the fact that the guy from, from the Avengers and Samoa Joe, the wrestler, is in this. And that's about all I can do. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I mean, I think that's also a problem with like other various video game franchises that I would like to think are, are iconic, but have clearly lapsed. Like, uh, I would, I would say, I would say, Lord Croft has lapsed a little bit, only just because I don't know for game. Well, I, I, that's not fair. At least have those three games in the yeah the uh, teens. Yeah, so, I, I haven't she, played those games. Something like that. So, and she's think, she's had successful re-releases of her original titles. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not being fair. I haven't played those games, but I have heard that they did fairly well. I just haven't played and them. So the, the the idea of Lara Croft being an iconic video game character is true. I mean, it's a question of whether she deserves her iconic iconography or whether you know it's changed over time or things like that is a different discussion but i think everyone can agree she's at least deserves to be in the list of running of iconic radio king characters i can agree with that she deserves to be number one hey are either of you keeping up with the my my hero academia manga yes no i am okay pardon me i don't want to be spoiled but I feel like I've been spoiled this week by some major shit, and I'm upset. Not that I can what? blame the internet, but... Okay, what? Are we but, talking well, like... Oh, not internet, but yeah, right. Spoiler? I mean, I don't want to spoil it. I don't even want confirmation that I've been spoiled. Okay. But I'm pretty sure I've been spoiled okay. by something. And I just, like... It's one of those things where, like, I saw it the first time, and the mental block, like, I will, like, ignore it. Like, you know, like, the freezing And then you meme. saw it the second time, and you're like, no, like, no what? Like shit, no. Like, I, like the second time I was like, "Oh no, I I recorded it." Damn it! <laughs> like you don't read JJK, right? No. Okay, so you don't get the jokes of "No, I win." Right? Yeah. That, yeah. Oh, like, I'd win. Like, like, although, though, although, damn it! Now that you've said it out loud, I've also remembered the spoilers I've seen about that one. So shit. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Well, right. so, uh, there's supposedly like new new chapters that are coming out that might finally change all that. Supposedly, question mark. Who knows? Mm. Which, if the, if that is great, the the chance that I will not hear about those spoilers would be great. The shrine outside of the Tokyo tra- train station. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, do we want to continue start the game now? Uh, unless someone else has something uh, worth bringing up. Any any fun Not news? Particularly. Uh, no. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Silly list. Because uh, just to make sure that the, the, just to make sure the IRL stuff that I was talking about before stream that was not put out no. there, right? Nope. Okay. Nope. Thank you. Nope. Eddie is that good, at least. Thank yep. you. At least either that or the podcast is already ruined. I didn't even get like the first like like three minutes of the, the list talk, so. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. Who am I going to be this time? Uh, uh, have I been this person yet? No. Maybe. Oh, oh, I wasn't trying to mercenary this time. I'm going to go with mercenary. I'm going to do the engineer. Okay, let me just set things up so I'm a bit more comfortable and not going to knock over all these hands by just moving. No. Bar. Yes. But yeah, okay, everybody got the class? Yep. Ready in. This is a can. Ready. Who's not ready? I'm, I'm locked in. I'm reading stuff. Okay. Okay. Looks like MPX is punchy fisty boy. Punchy He's fisty a girl. Oh. Because yeah, I know it's <laughs> this sort of like low poly. I can't tell. Well, I mean, everybody's wearing spacesuits, barring a few special uh, specifics. Well, for you characters, where it's obviously that the skin tight spacesuit allows for people to tell what they are, or they just they're not identifiable by what they are either. 
Well, robots, yeah. Robots in the plant. Scrapper. This is one weird character. I do not have a run? Oh, wait. No. My run is control. Uh, sometimes Southern characters... Okay, control is your sprint button. Yeah. Ooh. Healy item. Great, I got a stake. Sorry, it's can't say it on stun. That's I think that's actually pretty good for this character. Is I think you mentioned that all my items also technically transfer to the turret. Yes. I found the altar. I'm not going to touch it, though. Sentient meat hook? Yes. Once again, I'm trying to find unopened chests. Oh, well, I'm doing a poor job because... There comes her it. Ooh, Healy Drum. Also, I'm still trying to figure out what to buy, uh, what to play for Friday. Oh, that's right, because you finished up, right? Yep. Uh, we finished up, and I, I'm pretty sure we didn't get the good ending, but... Keep doing... Okay. For that chest now. Will o wisp detonate enemies on kill. Yeah. That'll be helpful. Uh,
Killing enemies ignites other enemies. Uh, you're another turret. Uh, Eddie? Mm-hmm? Why is it not displaying? What? Oh, I forgot to switch over. Oops. It is now. Okay. Well, at least we caught that early. Okay. Okay, I'm not finding much anymore. Uh, I think most of what I'm finding has already been raided by a specific individual. Well, we can look at that. Strangely even this time. So. Oh, my little turret has a hook on it and a slab of meat. Wait, why is the slab of meat just on my, at the front of my armor? Where else are you gonna put it? My butt? That's a choice. So okay, I'm satisfied. Yeah, I. I think I've looked at the last place. I mean, like, the biggest problem is, is I don't like this character. So. No? <laughs> well, it's all melee attack except for one thing. Uh, this is my best movement option. I, I'm I'm all melee as well. I'm the only ranged person. <laughs> yep. Yes. Oh lord. Well, that's why there's turrets and stuff. Though so there's this thing. It's sort of scary. Are we ready? Bottle. I got one of them. Well, one of them is like a titanic pearl.
Okay. Good leave. Yeah. Look at my hook. My hook is amazing. Noodle, noodle, noodles. Uh, I have a key. There's a chest with a key over here. Instincts? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll grab it. I mean, like. Oh, yeah, get the bustling fungus. Oh, that's. Which one? Uh, the fungus looking things, and uh, this one. Because it'll work wonders with your turrets. Uh, I only see two question marks. Or, oh. Really? Uh, I have a hook. That's bustling fungus right here. Yeah. That one was like halfway closed on mine, so. You need to put down your turrets. Horn one? Uh, I don't remember offhand. Okay. Ah, so uh, healing solar machine. Not the most useful one. Oh, hey! Radar scanner. Yeah. Ooh, I see things. Yep, that's what the radar scanner does. It's not as useful as you think it is. I mean, I'm keeping around because it's decent? Yeah. 